good day everyone today we're gonna share our knowledge about neoclassical neoclassical arts and artists neoclassical sculpture and neoclassical architecture a room hung with picture is a room hung with dots neoclassical paintings arts and artists Neoclassical artists embrace the ideas of others and moderation in which the artistic interpretation of classical Greek and Roman history were restored to a realistic portrayals. These are the characteristics. Portrayal of Roman history, formal composition, the use of diagonals to the peak of an emotion or movement, local color, overall lighting, and classic geostructure. Neoclassicism is an art focuses on the ideal human form as opposed to the less than perfect shapes of real people. Subjects at paintings echo ancient classical history and dress. In portraiture, even if the subject was living in 18th century France, they are depicted in the clothing of ancient Greece. Neoclassical painters give great importance to the costume, settings, and details of classical subject matter without adding distracting details but with as much historical accuracy as possible. But be careful! Not to interchange the two terms, the classicism refers to the art of forms produced in antiquity or inspired by it afterward while neoclassicism refers to the art forms inspired by ancient times but created later. Jacques Louis David was an influential French painter in the neoclassical style and considered to be the preeminent painter of the era. His subject of paintings were more on history. His famous artworks are Death of Marat, Napoleon Crossing the Alps, Oath of Marathi. Wow. Jean Duguste Dominic. Ingres was a pupil of Jacques Louis David. He was influenced by Italian Renaissance painters like Raphael, Nicolas, Pause, Botticelli, and his mentor Jacques Lois David. He was regarded as the one of the great exemplars of academic art and one of the finest old masters of his era. His paintings were usually nudes, portraits, and mythological themes. His famous artworks are Portrait of Napoleon on the Imperial Throne, Apotheosis of Homer. We all proceed now with the neoclassical sculpture. And here are the neoclassical sculptures. What are neoclassical sculptures? The neoclassical period was one of the greatest ages of public sculpture. Artists looked the Roman style during time of Alexander the Great for inspiration as well as mimic their style. Canova was a prolific Italian artist and sculptor who became famous for his marble sculpture that delicately rendered nude flesh. He opened the idea for portraying discreet sexual pleasure by using pure contours with mythological composition. His famous artworks are Psych Awake by Cupid's Kiss and Washington. Bertolt Thorvaldsten Thorvaldsten was the first internationally acclaimed Danish artist. He executed sculpture of mythological and religious themes characters. His famous artworks are Christ and Lion of Lucerne. After knowing the neoclassical art and neoclassical sculpture, let's proceed to neoclassical architecture. Neoclassical architecture style started in the mid-18th century, turned away from the grandeur of Rococo style and late Baroque style. In its purest form, neoclassical architecture was a style principally derived from the architecture of classical Greece, and room in the architectural design of Italian architect Andrea Pagliadio. Here are the types of neoclassical architecture. First, the temple style. Second, the Palladian style. Then, classical style. 
Temple style. Temple style buildings design was based on the ancient temple is a buildings were uncommon during the Renaissance as architects of the period focus and mainly on applying classical elements to the building creatures and modern buildings like palazzos and villas. Palladian style. Palladian style building based on Andrea Palladio style of villa construction. Some of the buildings feature of balustrade which is a railing with vertical supports along the edge of the roof. There are vertical supports within a balustrade known as balusters or spindles. It is also a classical method of grounding a building that has a flat or low line through. One of the famous architects in this era was Robert Adam. Robert Adam from the Britain, he was known as the Palladian architect of the Neoclassical, who designed two well-known American civic buildings, the White House in the United States Capitol, he had designed many country houses. Classical Black Style Classical Black Style building features a rectangular or square plan with a flat roof and an exterior rich in classical detail. Exterior features are repeated classical patterns or series of arcs or columns. Overall impression of such a building was a huge classically decorated rectangular block. Famous architects of his architecture style were Henry Labustri and Charles Garnier. 